Okay, so I <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Okay, another moth has arrived. Now, you have to understand, Manduka moths, when they go into chrysalis mode or when they're about to, this is kind of what I do. I put them, until I have the unit ready, I have a small glass um, uh, unit that I just have plants in. So, there's an example. Underneath this right here is a hornworm who is slowly burying himself or herself and getting ready to go into chrysalis mode. Um, they turn dark. Sometimes they're dying too, so don't be too concerned if you, you let one bury and it never comes up at all. It'll get eaten by your isopods, so it's not a problem. But sometimes they don't make it, and it's kind of gross, but you'll be okay. Anyway... Um, so when I wasn't ready and I was redoing the big unit, I put them in here because it's perfect. You know, I've got a heater and, uh, it's warm, it's tropical, the plants are alive, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't really know if any of them were gonna, were going to emerge. Um, yesterday when I posted those other videos and I said, oh my gosh, I have two Manduka mods that have arrived. Well, guess what? And I'm almost certain now I have a combination of a male and a female. Get this. Look at this beautiful. <laughs> look who else emerged. I think that was it. I think I only had three in there. Look. Look at that. To give you some perspective of the size of them. Um, well, let me see. I guess I could show you my, little, my hand. Um, I don't have giant hands, but... Okay, so I don't know about this. They're pretty good size, okay? And they look like mice to me. They're just so cute. Um, this one is big and gorgeous. Um, and the others have smaller frames in their bodies. So they didn't mate last night. Um, and that's fine. They know where the nectar is, so they're gonna live. But look at this one. Holy cannoli. Isn't it gorgeous? And I also forgot to mention um, that if you do have to handle them, I only wear like finger cots, those rubber finger covers, or I'll, I'll wear uh, rubber gloves only because um, their little legs, when they, they, you handle them firmly but gently, okay? Um, if you have to feed them and unroll their proboscis, which I have a video on that, previously. Um, if you have to hand feed them a little bit to get them going, you're going to think, ouch, they bit me, you know, but they didn't. They don't bite at all. There's no way, but sometimes their little feet, um, <laughs> I'm not using proper terminology, sorry, but sometimes their little feet will poke right into, even if you're wearing some, some protection, and it's, it just, it's just like being pin poked. They're not doing it on purpose. It's just the way their feet are, their legs are shaped that it, it'll poke. It, they're not hurting you. I mean, it, it's a pinch, but they're not doing it deliberately to harm you. They're just moving around in your hand. So don't slam them against the wall and go, ouch, it bit me. They're, they don't bite. They just don't. So anyway, I'm gonna try to get this, this, this I'd say little one, but nothing little about this one. Um, I'm going to try to get this one over into the other unit. The other two from yesterday are waiting. <laughs> um, I've got my plant light on. And um, look at that. Beautiful. And then there's the other one. Let's see what's up here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to transfer this one right now and um, see what happens in the next 24 hours. I'm pretty sure I've got a nice combination now of a male and a female somewhere in this threesome. So, um, yeah, this is gonna get exciting. <laughs> okay, have a blessed day and I'll talk to everyone soon. Bye.